Hey everybody, thought I would make a real quick video today and talk on it. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I have uh, said that the Bible, and especially the Old Testament, has taken many of its main characters from the 18th dynasty of Egypt. If you have not seen those videos, I'll leave some links below. But one of my theories is that Tutmos IV is the biblical Moses, and that is based primarily on the dates he reigned, his name, and a few things a few things that uh, are pretty speculative and just hunches by me, but theories that um, I really like. And I also think that Tutmos IV put his face on the Sphinx. Now, today I thought I would look a little more detailed at the lives of the biblical Moses and at Tutmos IV, mainly their wives. See if there's any parallels, and I figure whatever I find, this will lead me to uh, believe that this theory is purely speculative or it will help solidify it. So let's take a look. Moses' wife. I think some of us who are familiar with the Ten Commandments, and especially the movie, are familiar with Moses going into the land of Midian and marrying the daughter of a priest or a ruler of some sort or somebody in royalty. This is Exodus 18. It says, Now Jethro, the priest of Midian and the father-in-law of Moses, heard of everything God had done for Moses, and so on and so on. And here in Numbers, it says, Now Moses said to Hobab, son of Ruel, the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law, we are setting out for the place about which the Lord said, I will give it to you, and so on and so on. So Moses married the daughter of a Midianite ruler or priest. And we all remember the Ten Commandments, or those of us that remember the movie, remember that uh, Moses, Charlton Heston, uh, found the Midianite, um, I don't remember her name, but she was played by Yvonne DiCarlo. And I just wanted to see if Tutmos IV, what his personal life was like, and if there's any comparison. And pretty much all websites have backed this up. This one says, Tutmos IV married the daughter of the Mitanni ruler. And on this website, it says, it lists Tutmos IV's wives. And uh, he had a few of them. He was quite active, like many of the pharaohs were. But one of his wives, and this is the wife that he ended up having Amo. Amenhotep III with, so this was the mother of his child, she was a Mitanni princess, the daughter of the king of Mitanni. So we have Moses marrying somebody from Midian, the daughter of a ruler or priest, and we have Tutmos IV marrying the daughter of the king of Mitanni. So Midian and Mitanni, um, I'm not real familiar. I've heard those names before, but let's just see what um, Midian and Mitanni, see if there's any comparison. And here it says, the Egyptians themselves referred to this people as the Mitanni, apparently the same word as the biblical Midianite. So these stories are absolutely identical. Tutmos IV, and the biblical Moses both married the daughter of somebody important from Midian or Mitanni. They are the same place. It's the same story. Tutmos IV was the biblical Moses. So let it be written. So let it be done.